transition over to the um, environment just a little bit, and sure. uh, we are seeing the uh, uh, there's been a growing dependence on on foreign oil. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, there's been debates months gone by dealing with do we d drill uh, offshore, do we d drill uh, up in Anwar, up in, in Alaska. Uh, any thoughts you have as far as reducing our dependence upon uh, foreign entities for our our, our fuel and and uh, uh, those things that keep America going. Well, I think uh, our dependency on foreign oil is also a national security issue. I mean, it goes to the whole reason why we're in the Middle East. I think we do need to reduce our dependency on foreign oil, and the only way to do that is to develop alternative sources here in America. I think the environmentalists are continuing to stop our ability to develop nuclear power, uh, drill for oil. There are deposits of oil and coal, et cetera, gas here in the United States and Alaska that we can, we can obtain without harming the environment. And think of the harm that a war does to the environment in the Middle East. Well, think about that versus the very little harm, if any at all, that drilling for oil under today's you know, possibilities would do. So to me, you gotta weigh the two and say that the better environmental decision is to actually go ahead and drill for oil in the United States rather than risking continuing the war in the Middle East. The President is wanting to have the Congress and Senate pass uh, legislation that would uh, deal with this topic of a global warming. Uh, wh where do you stand on that issue? Well, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm highly skeptical. I just, you know, the fact that they changed it from global warming to now they're calling it climate change, I think, is a big clue that even they don't have confidence in their argument. You know, climate change. Well, of course, you know, the climate of the, of the uh, earth has been changing for billions of years. I certainly hope it continues to change. Uh, I think we'd be all in trouble if it didn't change, especially if we got went stuck in winter for all our lives, you know. So I think that, uh, you know, I am, I am not at all believing one cent of this whole global warming thing. Uh, it is a, another potential welfare transfer system, uh, just like cap and trade, which is all part of that. We're going to be writing checks from the Midwest to the East Coast to the West Coast where they have things like wind farms with, you know, wind that comes in off the ocean. Uh, we can't do that necessarily. We have the manufacturing base. We have to rely on gas and oil and other uh, fossil fuels here in the Midwest. Uh, and, and these sorts of things like cap and trade and global warming are very undemocratic. They're also anti-capitalism.